And we're getting ready to go live. Like we're live on, I think it's Instagram. And to pull you in a little closer. Everybody just bear with me a minute. It's never a dull moment in exposing the exploiters. And today is will be absolutely no exception. This uh, will be uploaded as, as soon as I can get it uploaded to YouTube, United States Anti-Gang Stalking Association, and we're streaming live now on Instagram and Facebook, United States Anti-Gang Stalking Association, Instagram, all lowercase, Richard underscore more underscore TI. I also encourage you to visit my space on uh, Quora. It's U.S. Anti-Gang Stalking. And countless other platforms. With that said, let's uh, jump right into what the, the today's subject. And believe you me, when I tell you that there, this is endless supply of information, not only information, but good information that is solely directed at informing the targeted individuals and, and trying to prevent people from making uh, mis missteps and uh, bad decisions based on bad information. And these things are perpetrated by, of course, bad actors. And <clears throat> so we're gonna talk about some of these bogus bad actors, especially those that have a presence on social media, whether it be Quora, Facebook, you name it. So I think without any further ado, we need to reiterate these, the complexities and the links that these people will go to and go through to destroy and dismantle a target, another human being, if you will. It's part of their, this nightmare, this holistic approach to community policing. While many of them are having a laughing contest that because it's so deep and it's so big that there's nothing that we can possibly do to challenge this. And I'm going to tell you folks, I'm going to be real clear about this. Nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, is too big for God. Tell me what is impossible for God. Nothing. Now it's one thing for an individual to invoke the name of God and to say they're a believer and it's another thing actually being a believer, born again. And we got a lot of fake fakers out there. They're talking about a different God, a different Christ, and, and and they're just saying whatever needs to be said or they feel like they need need to say in order for them to fit in, for them to uh, feel better about themselves or for you to drink the Kool-Aid of deceit that they're serving. Now, as many of you that have followed me for any length of time know of, of I mean, you followed me all along. You've seen the, the ups and downs and the things that I've been subjected to. And I've, uh, I've done my dead level best to articulate that. As we know that, that AI has a lot to play in how an individual is targeted through the, 
through what it's a the predictive software and and it's led people to that well they're reading my mind they're control they're, they're actually they're controlling the the targeted individual they're controlling them through of course artificial intelligence but more importantly this can't be effective unless they have boots on the ground So if you've if you've been with me for a while, if not, I'm gonna bring you up up to up to speed on it. And I, I make it a point, and I'm I'm gonna really put an exclamation mark on this point that I'm making right now, because I'm telling you, the people that uh, they're gonna there's gonna be some people not gonna like what I've got to say, and. Uh, <laughs> And as if you if you know anything about me, you know that I'm not running for office or trying to win uh, any popularity contest. But I will, in fact, ladies and gentlemen, uh, tell you like it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it as real as it can possibly get. It, it can get more real than this. Uh, less than two years ago, an individual was inserted in into the scheme of things if you will and this is the story of of true targeted individuals of people being put into their lives and it some somehow they feel like this is uh, uh organic when actually it's not we feel like that these decisions were made uh, through these improbable uh, impossible uh, uh ways that there, there's no way it happened had to be organic don't be so sure about that a lot of actions and things that we do are based on information that has been given to us in, in kind of puzzle pieces here and there we we see these articles and so forth and because our, our data all of our data all of the metadata all of that stuff and and you need look any further than Cambridge Analytic, Analytica in Great Britain. That's how Barack Obama got in office. Donald Trump, so forth. This Cambridge Analytica being able to actually control and target individuals and in what they do. That's what Cambridge Analytical does. What role does Cambridge Analytical play in human trafficking, sex trafficking, drug trafficking? Well, it's probably a much larger role than, than, than we know at the moment. But we do know that this is facilitated through our government, through the Department of Justice. And they use this one world community, if you will, of bad actors to make these programs more cohesive and more palatable for the government. And therefore, it's easy to dismiss these things and look over it. One of the, the, the things, personally, is being, this is a very well a, a generational issue as it pertains to me due to my background, my, my family background, and so forth. That backstory is on YouTube if you want to look at my historical backstory and watch that video, and that'll give you a little more insight. But an individual was inserted into my life. Now, I'm going to tell you, folks, that I don't, I, you know, I, and I've been the dummy plenty of times. I've been the clown many of times. We've all taken the bait. We've all fallen for, for the trick. I've seen Siegfried and Roy a couple of times, and, and you know, <laughs> Copperfield and Chris Angel, but, you know, going back to Siegfried and Roy, and they, they've got the, and we know the deal with the, the Tigers, and uh, Tigers do what Tigers do. You know, they'll jump through hoops and jump up on stools and roll and spin and all that. But eventually, they they go back, they they, they do what they do. And, and we know that uh, that, in fact, was the curtain call. 
many of us are like those tame, trained pets, the white tigers of Siegfried, Siegfried and Roy. And that had a a, a very uh, uh, unpleasant curtain call. This program will also have an unpleasant curtain call, trust me. And so when they get deep into the lives of a targeted individual, then they feel like, and then they, they, and you're abused. And, and they, they know they've stacked the cards to where this individual will, will, won't go there. I'm going there today. I, I, I want to clear the air about will he or won't he go there. I'm going to go there today. So this individual, Dr. Astra Stanley, formerly from Latvia, she's been in the United States for about 20 years. What am I saying? Is she a perp? Yes. Okay. Y-E-S, yes. Whether you want to accept it, believe it, for those that are familiar with her, that's on you, honey. I don't get paid to get on here and spin anything. I don't get paid to do what I do. I do what I do because I'm a warrior for victims of targeting. I'm an advocate for those that are targeted maliciously and recklessly by our government and by members of the community in every shape, form, fashion imaginable. That is who I am advocating for. And I will pull no punches. As a doctor, she's an ophthalmologist, an eye doctor, that inserted herself in there with her story being that her husband, her ex-husband, which is family, somehow uh, uh, had uh, some hit men, five or six, that were stalking her on her trail, and she, she caught the deal, and and so it was a bitter divorce, and neighbors weren't full of software. In other words, the story is weak. Weak. When the story is weak, folks, there's a problem. It, it just didn't compute. Now, now th this is, so she finally divorces this man. It's a stepson that dies in this equation. And, and I'm telling you, it don't look good. It doesn't look good. And she has her own children with this man that uh, won't have anything to do with her. Own children. That, I mean, it, I'm telling you now, folks. It, it's, it's the, the math, it never worked. The story never worked. Oh, I witnessed stalking. I witnessed things happening, my being present around her. But I also witnessed the same things when I was around other perps. It would increase and all of these things. And it wasn't like, see there, see there, you see this? As I told the last perp that was at my residence, he said, well, you want me to go out there? I said, I said, look, all of this pomp and circumstance is for me. It's not for you. I mean, it's for you, not me. They're showing you their support. You're processing this psychologically different than I'm processing it. Now, I can tell by your, I, you can tell by being next to a person. When individuals walk onto your lawn, they're, they're firing weapons. You see the flash coming out of the barrel. And one person is completely calm and collected. Another person is a little disturbed and, and PO, to say the least. That's me. And, of course, the perp. His emotions are totally different. So it's not, this is not rocket science, folks. So you, going through and, and to save you the story, uh, now we've got an individual that has been given a divorce settlement that's in a trust and that's kind of managed by someone else. Okay, we wonder who manages that. Is it really what? So, 
In other words, it's being managed by someone. She can't just spend her money. She has to get permission. And, uh, and there's checks and balances. Checks and balances, folks. The same way it is with misuse of federal grant money. Same way, it's checks and balances. And they're using it more ways than the folks you'll ever imagine. The whole idea of this thing was to get Richard Moore out of Mississippi. I, I'm happen to be in the epicenter of diabolical criminal stalking involving law enforcement and officials and, 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 and state actors. And I have three active lawsuits, and I'm going to keep doing that till the cows come home. Well, what if you don't win? I, look, it's not how many times, brothers and sisters, how many times you get knocked down, how many times you get back up. The first time I go to Arizona, I mean, now, she has a, this proclivity to want to live in Arizona. She's from Latvia. So nothing about Arizona could remotely remind you of your fatherland. Now, we're talking about someone that served in the Russian military. If she gets to America, and we hadn't quite gotten clear on that deal. I, if they met, if she met uh, him, a uh, gold digging somewhere in Europe was probably the deal. But when I tell you, as we say in the South, she didn't have a pot to piss in or when to throw it out of, that is the deal. And that's takes us back to the Great Depression where people were that poor. They actually absolutely did not have a pot to piss in. They didn't have a house that had a wind in it to throw it out of. That That's a literal euphemism from the past. That is exactly where uh, this uh, person, Astra Stanwyck, Astra McLeon Stanwyck, was. So she gets with this guy and, and, and she'll make up stories, but none of it ever matches. But I can tell you, he does everything he can to keep his distance from her and the children do as well, for a reason. As this thing progresses, and I've talked about the Washington, D.C. rally where this thing came, came to a head, and and I'm being, I mean, it's right in the middle of all this theater, and, and, and the 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 uh, park uh, police and so forth was involved. The homeless man, and all this stuff. Stanwich there with me, and they're all involved with it. And, and so I, I'm like, I, I, I said, this whole deal is a pumped up, set up theater deal to to get a reaction out of me, for me to self implode in D.C. at Elephant Park during this. Uh, charade <laughs> and Stanwick was in on the deal she posted many several pictures selfies and, and, and videos of her standing side by side with the park police talking about them. just ooh just I'm dripping and pouring with, with just uh, 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 support Yet somehow, I'm the bad guy. If you ever felt like that victim, that some for some reason you're the bad guy, well, let me move on with this. Now you're talking about somebody's all over the map. One day she's talking about vaccines. One day she's talking about uh, DNA sequencing. One day she's talking about uh, uh, getting probed for chips. She goes her in, in some. 350-pound Cheeto-eating loser, according to her, of course, she ain't probably staying a few nights with him, and he stayed a few nights with her, and, uh, really? I mean, look, folks, I mean, you gotta draw, you gotta, you know, surely to God, you gotta have some kind of standard. Uh, of who you're going to get. I mean, really? Folks, that's right. That's right. Her job was to, uh, to 
put the put the whole deal out there to try to lure me to forfeit everything that I've got going in North Mississippi to get away from these people because I, I know too much. Literally. And even where the bodies are buried. Literally. And they want me 1,600 miles away from the equation. Now, and then the race is on. As far as being hit with electronic frequencies to a debilitating, crippling degree, it's only happened in her home in Phoenix, Arizona on Paradise Lane. Period. Now she'll post things. Now she's with this other con artist. Now I'm telling you that Stanwick is working for the deep state. Stanwick is an undercover operative period. She'll retort, well, I helped more. I gave him. Let me tell you what. I'll tell I'm, I'll tell, I'm gonna tell you everybody just like I told her then. I, I'm not for sale. I wasn't for sale then, I'm not for sale now. Don't don't support me. And then, and then when you cross those lines and when it starts becoming real obvious that you are the enemy, don't say, well, I've been good to you. Don't hit me hard. I don't think I've been hit hard. enough. Matter of fact, I've been letting too many people off the hook that, uh, that I've tolerated. And you know what? I, my, I, I'm not going to tolerate it anymore. So now she's got this another clown shacking up. That she's screwing in uh, in, uh, in Phoenix. Supposedly, his name is Adam Rich Doctor, Rich Doctor. It's R E I C H D O C T O. Really, fuck, get the hell out of here! Who in the hell? I mean, you. How stupid? How stupid are we supposed to be? He's formerly MI6. <laughs> How stupid are we supposed to be? Now, so this clown that's over there uh, uh, shacked up with Stanley are trying to get people to come out there and get probed and whatever else for implants. Again. I think I, I'm going to go back to my original idea. I'm going to start uh, just producing I'm Stupid t-shirts. And we'll, we'll award those. And you get a stupid t-shirt. Just wear this I'm Stupid. And run on out to Phoenix. Entertain that. Ask her a question on Quora. I'm telling you. It, that you're, you're talking to a robot. You're talking to a person that is programmed. And outside of that, you're not going to get anywhere other than all roads lead to destruction. Pathological liar does not cover when I'm speaking of Stanwick. And now she's got this supposed Adam guy that is former MI. Get that. Come on. Come on. Get, get, uh, you got you have absolutely topped the Midge Mathis and fake targeted justice story. So we got two people that that are full of it. Perping and absolutely single handedly hand picking those individuals within the targeted community to dismantle them. That is that is what her job is. Period. For those that 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 the homos feel like that that really this person is saying too much, or they might end the way and, and go ahead and, and, and start courting this one and court this one and court that one, on and on and on. So when you have your high your your high level perps and you wonder who they are. I just gave you two. Now, as far as we know, uh, Astra McGlon, it, it Stanwick, that is may be a legitimate name. Is she a legitimate person? Is she legitimate in her um, 
uh, intentions. No, her intentions are not honorable. Her intentions are simply to absolutely get do whatever is necessary to get into the minds, hearts, and lives of other individuals and destroy them. And, and she'll show you proof. Well, look, this is how they're targeting me. And, and they're doing this and doing that. And, and just little teasers out there. And then all of a sudden, your social media feeds starts coming up verifying stuff that uh, this perp's talking about. And this is how they work hand in hand. If you're ever in doubt and, and you're, it's questionable, then you need to do the math as quickly as possible. And we do the math, you're going to see that the math, it doesn't compute. My best advice is to step away from that. Now, her main reason, knowing that my that the home office already knew that I would, in fact, that my intentions were, and Stanwick knew this before she ever met me, that my intentions were taking this to a federal courtroom. One at a time, piecemeal, piecemealing this thing out. Not only did she, was she briefed on all this, he's done it before. He is not afraid to do it. He will go in there and, and learn, he'll take the blows, but he'll go back in better, sharper, with more information, more, more uh, evidence, whatever is necessary. But he's not going to sit down and shut up. That's not going to happen. And so she wants to interject herself into my federal cases by offering testimony, so forth, and, and so on. And that, my friends, was a very dangerous decision for her to make. When we talk about obstruction of justice and, in, and, and, and how the, the scheme of things work, <coughs> while her plans happen to be one thing and to embed herself within my cases to make those disintegrate and to lose credibility, honey, she doubled down on me being able to make the case and the cases that I will be making in the future and to help you make your case. All right. Jump on in there if you want to. Stanwick jumped in there neck deep because the clown was drinking the Kool-Aid, or so she thought. When she realized that money did not dictate what this old boy does, God does. We said, you better find yourself a new supporter. I said, honey, I got a supporter. It's God Almighty. And of course, that's hilarious to someone like that. To someone that's inherently evil, that's funny. Well, show him. Well, guess what, sweetheart? God is absolutely, I'm here because of what? Not because you've got anything to do with it, because God's got everything to do with it. My vow is this. For as long as I am on this earth, I will be a warrior for victims. I will not be a part of a group. Victims that have that are thriving after abuse. That's one of the sites, one of the uh, things that she contributes to. Yeah. Well, tell us about that. that you're sure as the hell Astra Stanwick is not a victim. No, her family's a victim, and everybody she's met's a victim. Now she, and she gets these duds out here with probes and, and, and implant detectors and all this other kind of BS. And who knows what she'll be off to the next day. But if you think you're talking to someone or dealing with someone that is uh, that really cares or is knowledgeable, they can sit there and talk about all this uh, uh, bull crap, all this Area 51 stuff that you see in these fake sites. They can crack you with a satellite, DNA sequencing, see through your eyelids, all this bullshit. That she won't miss a beat on that. Won't miss a beat on it. Well, let me tell you, <clears throat> it's a flawed concept that this evil program 
operates off of. It's very flawed. My source of information, my source of support, my source of hope, my source of encouragement, and everything I need is from God. God opens those doors in Revelation. says he will open doors that no man can close and will close doors that no man can open. And so after this, Adam, rich doctor, get the hell out of here. And so it's a play off of, okay, but put it, do the math, folks. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. And for those that, that contribute or participate and associate with these clowns, either directly or by proxy, makes you just as much as a joke as the perpetrator themselves and I just named two. You say, well, they can't be a perp because they're talking about these other people as perps. It is absolutely the opposite of conventional wisdom. I shouldn't have to keep telling you that. What conventional wisdom tells you how to measure these and the pros and the cons of a situation or being right or wrong, throw that out the window. Throw that out the window. Put the, the Grayman Project and read 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 the the writing of the Grayman Project and also the information that the contributors of the Grayman Project put into this. It, you might get a little better understanding of what I'm talking about. Now, so we can define ourselves by either being informative, in, informative. By being informed. Well, you're getting on there and you're speaking of something you know nothing about. You believe you know everything about it because you have read so much uh, garble, gobbledygook of social media that now it's the gospel. This is a satanic gospel. This is what the Masons. All of these people, law enforcement, they love this. It's what they live and thrive and operate. And it's all called deceit. God does not operate in the elements of deceit. If it's deceitful, God's not in it. This woman I'm talking about and this clown that she's got with her and the other clowns that support her, deceit. When deceit's there, the devil's there, period. God does not operate. If it's confusing, Know that God is not in it. Not in it. Now, that's about as clear as I can make it. I've given you two today. They're getting out. I don't what I don't fight. Look, I don't see anything. But there's been a few little things that's popped up and so forth. I've done everything to distance myself. But I tell you, it seems like it wants to just help kind of gravitate back around. They try to keep things out of my orbit. They, I mean, these perps try their best to keep things out of, their, out of my orbit. God forbid that, that Richard Moore hear it or see it because it, we don't want him, we, we want him to shut up and get him out, get, kill him fast because I'm giving the truth. I'm giving the truth. I've told many people, I said, you really? Oh, well, I appreciate that information. Well, look here. I don't, you can take it or leave it. Do what you want to with it. But I'm satisfied, folks. With the barrier of truth, what, what you're giving people that get it is not a popular subject. It's not. It's not. The people would much rather believe and uh, choose to believe in a fantasy or, or, or some made up story than the unadulterated truth they just the truth most people can't handle the truth but many of you can for those of you that can handle the truth you have come to the right place you have come to the right place what i do is not scripted what i do is not some i'm not a trained monkey and a, a and a wheel a rat running in a wheel i, I will i'll tell you i shoot straight from the hip ladies and gentlemen I shoot straight from the hip. I've given a lot of people something that I, I didn't have. I didn't have that luxury. Every corner, everywhere I look, 
where somebody was running some line of gaslighting and, and trying to run me off in some different direction, change my narrative. It's not going to change. It will not change. Be real clear. Now, how can you help? But this year, 2022, is expose the exploiters. That's what I'm going to do one at a time. Just like the court cases, I'm going to do it one at a time. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. That's how you do it. Oh my God, it's just too big. No, one bite at a time. A journey of a thousand leagues begins with one step. Folks, let me tell you. Karma is real. We're not talking about revenge here. Jesus taught karma. As you sow, so also shall you reap. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. So we take the perpetrators like Esther Stanwyck. And you do everything within your power to undermine and derail and destroy an individual that had done nothing to you. And then try to turn it and make me look like the bad guy. God said no weapon formed against you will prosper. And I believe that. And that's absolutely been the way. That has been the deal. That has been the deal. He said he will supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. Now, folks, let me tell you. That's a big God. God sees it. He understands it. He's got it figured out. I'm not worried about it. I, but I am giving the message. We have this message here. And the message is there is hope. We have everything in the world to live for. There are people out there right now that need to be uplifted. People that need encouragement. People to know. I just want to die. It didn't make that. Jesus has already done that. He died for you. He took all of that for you. That is our only answer. That is our only answer. You need to spend some time with him. That's where, because you'll never know what love is. You'll never know what true love is until you know the love of Jesus Christ. When that happens, my friend, you'll notice something different, not only about you, but the world that we're living in. No, we're not like them. He said, come out from amongst them. Don't conform to this world. Come out from among them. Be ye a separate people, a peculiar people. I'm proud to say that I am a proud, peculiar, separated person. And I'm bringing the only true message, a message of hope, and salvation, and grace, and restoration, and healing. This is where we need to be. We can't deal with this on our own. And as evil comes against us, these wolves in sheep's clothing, they must be exposed. They must be exposed. There is no middle ground. There is no middle ground. I back up what I say, what I'm doing. I, it's not something I'm going to do. I have three cases in, with court dates right now. And we'll have more. And th th I, I'm not going to air. I've got court dates. They're not, it's not something, well, there's a lot of people file lawsuits. They get anywhere. Well, I, I, save it. Save it for somebody stupid. If you think I'm going to sit down and not stop and, and quit exposing people, then you've got another thing coming. This is what I was brought on this earth to do, and I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. Especially, we're talking about these ass clowns out here in Phoenix, Arizona. That's the deal. Now, they can weep and wail and moan and cry. I could care a less because that is the truth. So there you have it. There you have it. If you like what we're doing here and you want to support what we're doing here, 
I encourage you to become a Patreon at United States Anti-Gang Stalking Association. And you can also donate to our GoFundMe. And we've got one we're closing out now, a much bigger, bolder, and more aggressive drive uh, is coming. Uh, continuously, we're uh, continuously pushing for support. And many of you have been faithful, and, and I'm telling you, have been faithful, and, and, have, and, it, and, and I know, I know that, that they know that they're in the right place, and they're doing the right thing. Many think they have no voice, or, or they're not able to do this. Together, we can. Get behind somebody that's actually doing something that's keeping it real, giving you the good information, and that will help you take continue to take the next step in living your life. Your life should not be defined about this horror movie they have inserted you in. At any point in the game, you decide to check out of this deal, you can do that. And I'm not talking about physically, I'm talking about spiritually. I don't lose sleep at night because I've got fools and demons and evil people that have some other agenda that have one thing that they want to do is that destroy the target. God's got me protected there. That's who protects me. Not a Faraday cage, but God. There's a difference. There's a big difference. When you get to know, <laughs> well, folks, let me tell you, on Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. This is your way out. And then you can do your work. You can tell your story. I want to help you tell your story. This is why we push. I push for for, for funding and for support where we could I can do the interviews I can travel and tell and, and get other people's story and where they many have a fear of leaving this world and their story not being told many have a fear and I have a fear that many people will leave this world and not be right with their eternal destination that's our mission here. Like, subscribe, and share. Shadow banning's real. And let me tell you, folks, without the help of, of people globally, we would never get our message out. We would never get our message out. But I've got other people. God has sent people. And it, 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 I'm in amazement every day. Oh, I can't understand it. I have no idea from one day to the next what, what, and how. But you know what? He's always got the answer. He's always there. And, 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 and his presence right now, the presence is something that you feel and you know it's real. That's how God's talking to us today. That's how he talks to me every day. His presence is real. And let me tell you, folks, when you get in the presence of evil and deceit and the elements of, of the devil, and then you see this, this continuously, I, I said, folks, you know, I've got a lot on my plate. But today, there's people out there that are they're been immersed and been affected by such as this rich doctor and Astor Stanley. I'm telling you, folks. There's more where they came from. Period. You step away from it. You are absolutely trying to make a deal with the devil by simply entertaining one iota of anything from the likes of these perpetrators. Let me hear from you. Comment in the comment section. Share, like, subscribe. Until next time, God bless you.